Hi everyone, it's Bill. With the weather starting to break into the warmth of summer here in central New England, I thought it was time to start thinking about the outdoors. The parks, forests, walking trails, just the general feeling of being outside and what that means to life. So today, I'll be taking a look at The Wilderness Within, Reflections on Leisure and Life by Daniel L. Dustin. So come on outside with me, take a seat, and let's turn some pages. In a bit of cruel irony, we were making this video outdoors, but the neighbors' landscapers were so loud, it just wouldn't work. In the meantime, check out the links in the description for our merch store and our brand new Patreon. Come join the community and have a say in how this channel works. And if you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you, and now on with the show. This book, written in 1999, is by a professor in the Department of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation at Florida International University in Miami. He has won many awards in his field and was president of the Society of Park and Recreation Educators, along with many other positions and accolades. So it's safe to say that he knows what he's talking about. Designed as a series of essays on how to have fun in the outdoors and how to just be in the outdoors, Dustin takes us with him on various hikes, walks, and outdoor adventures as he makes a case for what he calls the No Rescue Wilderness, in which all those who go there are totally on their own with nothing but themselves and the present moment. It is a way, Dustin says, to just be with yourself in quiet reflection on life and your place in it. Of course, the No Rescue Wilderness isn't for everyone, and the book is more than just about that. The book is, in summary, a celebration of the outdoors in all its glory and peril. Dustin's theme is to live life is to experience life. Take a break from the technology of the day and be just out watching the birds and wildlife while walking through the woods. In addition to all of this, the book is a kind of slight or light autobiography as Dustin explores what it's like to be an expert in his field and for a time to be out of it as he quits his job and has to figure out a new life. Spoiler alert, he becomes a day trader. He goes back to teaching eventually, but it brings us into his stock trading process in the meantime. The 18 essays in the book all have these themes as we travel with him on a 100 mile run in California, a visit to the actual diner named for the actual Peggy Sue from Buddy Holly's song, and even a tour of Russia's, or was, as it was then, the USSR's parks and farmland. At only 145 pages, the book is relatively short, easy read. I read it in almost a single setting. The essays are well written, and it is a great introduction to various parks and wildernesses our country, our world, has on offer for us to enjoy. If you're interested in the outdoors, this is a good book for you. It's also a good read if you want to know about the life of an outdoor recreation expert, what they do and what exactly that means. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What is your favorite outdoor activity? For now, Thank you for watching, and as always, please keep on reading. We'll see you next time.